Now at five, an icon of Indianapolis sports now under new ownership. A household name in motorsports, Roger Penske buys the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We have team coverage of today's major announcement. Live look at the track. Rain is falling in some areas of central Indiana. We're tracking when the showers move out and when another cold front moves in. Plus, the Colts could be down another quarterback. Our sports team is live tonight. They've got updates on Jacoby Brissett's knee injury and what's next for him. News 8 at 5 starts now. A lot to get to. Thanks for joining us. First at 5, it is one of the biggest transactions in the history of motorsports. Roger Penske introduced as the new owner of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Yeah, the Holman family sold the track after more than 70 years of ownership. News 8 Sierra Hignite, David Williams, and Charlie Clifford all covering the story for us tonight. First, let's get out to Richard Essex. He spoke to Penske about the sale today. Richard? Well, Roger Penske is known as the captain around racing circles. He has 14 wins out here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, his first one in 1972. And this morning when I asked him about the history of this place, he says as, as the new steward and the new owner of the track, he intends to maintain all the long, rich history out here at this facility. The rumblings of Roger Penske buying the Indianapolis Motor Speedway have been reverberating around the racing world for a few weeks. Penske and Tony George revealed this morning that discussions began at the end of the racing season. They came to me. It wasn't something I was knocking on their door, but, uh, you know, I'm, I look for good opportunities and especially things that we know something about. You know, we are track owners. We're, we, we obviously have run races. I think our domain knowledge is, puts us in the right position. We have the financial wherewithal to do the transaction, and we're here a long term player. This isn't buy it, fix it up, and sell it. The one question that neither Penske or George would answer is how much. Both companies are private and the sale and the conditions of the sale are not going to be public. What was made public, Tony George choking up when asked why the track was being sold. It's obviously emotional, emotionally difficult, um, hence the choking up. But, um, you know, we all love it and we all care deeply for it. And, you know, I think we all realize that as, as a family and as an organization, we probably had taken it as far as we can. Roger Penske is very aware of what the Indianapolis Motor Speedway means to Indianapolis and to Speedway Indiana. He also has a vision for the track. And we look around, uh, you know, this thousand acres and we say, can this be the entertainment really capital, not only the racing capital of the world, but the entertainment capital of the world in Indiana. In 1972, a Team Penske driver by the name of Mark Donahue won the team's first race here in Indianapolis. Almost 50 years later, Penske is talking about his plans for the next 75 years. In the United States of America, you know, hard work and commitment with a good team pays off, and I guess that's one of the benefits I can say why I'm here today. Now, we know that Roger Penske is very familiar with Pit Row, but Penske will also walk the entire property tomorrow and start holding meetings with staff almost right away. Now, do, should we expect any major changes out here at Speedway, like lights? That was one of the things that was talked about today. He did kind of mention it, but didn't make any kind of firm commitments to putting lights around the Motor Speedway. He did talk about maintaining NASCAR and bringing back F1. Now, he expects to have the sale closed by the end of this year. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Richard Essex, Wish TV, News 8. Lights would be pretty cool. All right, mm -hmm. Richard, thank you. Let's get to uh, Sierra Hignite now. So she's also at the track with more on the family history leading up to today's announcement. Sierra. Brooke and Mike, it was definitely an emotional today as Richard showed you inside that press conference as people reflected back on the Holman George era here at the track. And while many people said they are excited looking to the future, even Penske says it took a lot to get this track to where it is today. What we know is the Indianapolis Motor Speedway was built in 1909 as a testing facility for the growing automobile industry. The first race on this track was a motorcycle race that same year. Then they had no idea what this motor parkway would become. The history goes back to, uh, you know, the same people that founded this facility are founders of our community. And so that history is really strongly tied in and, uh, and, and we're going to see that continue, I think. In 1927, Eddie Rickenbacker purchased IMS for $750,000, but the Speedway would fall on hard times during World War II, closing in 1942. Then, enter Tony Holman. Well, you look at how it started right after World War II. I mean, I mean, Tony Holman saved basically the Motor Speedway. Um, it, it was struggling after not running during, the, during World War II. 
1945, the Holman George family purchased IMS for $750,000, starting the longest period of ownership in the track's history. The, the Holman family has been great partners to the town of Speedway. Holman and Company has been around for nearly 170 years. In the company's time, they've worn a lot of different hats. We've been distillers, we've been brewers, we've been grocers, we've been produce, um, canned goods, just about everything. But there was an emotional connection involved in this deal. Nancy and I, anyway, we, we came home from the hospital to a, a home just right, right down the street here. So we've literally grown up around it. Our kids and grandkids have done the same. A track that originally was built to test cars has become home to many different styles of racing and has created a culture to accompany it. The town has changed so much over those years and this facility has changed so much over those years um, for the positive. Now, Penske will only be the fourth person to ever have stewardship of this track in its more than 100-year existence. Live at IMS, I'm Sierra Hignite, Wish TV News 8. You hear that emotion. All right, mm -hmm. Sierra, thank you. Racing fans from all over reacting to today's big news. A lot of talkers. News 8's David Williams spent the day talking to quite a few of them. So what are they saying, David? Well, there's a mix of emotions. Some people said they were surprised. Others said they're confident and looking forward to what's to come. I spoke to neighbors who have lived in Speedway for decades, and you can see the pagoda from their doorstep. You could describe the mood in neighborhoods as mixed. Some people were not surprised. Others feel like Penske's company owning the iconic Speedway is a very good fit. Another person said they felt sad because they see this as the end of a decades-long era. Well, regardless, in the tight-knit community of Speedway, word traveled quickly today. Penske, in very real terms is, is a good fit because, you know, it, it, it's not just his history here, but, you know, he cares enough about the race uh, t to keep things, you know, uh, going in a, in a good way. And I think that's that's what uh, a place like this needs. I don't see a problem with that. You know, Penske, you know, he's known to be into the race and all his life. Coming up all new at 6, I will introduce you to a super fan who made a huge life purchase based on the Speedway. You don't want to miss this in less than an hour. I'm David Williams, Push TV News 8. All right, in the last half hour, IMS President Doug Bowles tweeted out about the sale. He said, the professionalism, integrity, and values of Penske Corporation match perfectly with those of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We're confident Penske Corporation will be a faithful, vibrant steward of this great facility and its events, ensuring a bright, successful future. We are also hearing from Governor Eric Holcomb on the sale. In a statement, he said in part, the biggest single day sporting event on planet Earth is about to get even bigger and better. I couldn't be more excited about the future of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with the captain, Roger Penske, at the helm. Mayor Joe Hogsett also sent News Aid a statement. It says in part, I know Roger Penske and the Penske Corporation will continue this legacy, acting as ambassadors for Indianapolis and presiding over another century of progress, innovation, and sporting excellence at the world's greatest racetrack. Drivers also reacting to today's news, and many are excited about the future of IndyCar. Yeah, our Charlie Clifford is joined by Wish TV racing analyst Tice Carlson now with what could change at the track. Charlie. Mike and Brooke, thank you. First and foremost, we're trying to figure out how much Roger forked over for this puppy. What, is it a B or an M? Millions Man, or billions? Where are we I, I, at? I'm thinking Bob. Bob? I'm thinking Bob. <laughs> that I think big? That, I think, yeah, I think with everything that's in line, I, I think there could be a billion dollar purchase. You've been on the phone all day. Racers, owners, what are you hearing? Yeah, I'm hearing excitement. You know, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, Tony George said that he thought that his family took IMS and IndyCar to the highest level that they right. could. So doing that, it means that if you want to grow, you have to change. Roger Penske, been here since 1951 when he's 14 <laughs> years old. Still you know, got him. He loves the sport. They went to him and asked him to purchase it. They wouldn't have went to anybody else. They wouldn't have accepted an offer from anybody else. Point. I think it's only going to go up. And it was a quick negotiation. Yeah. Doesn't sound like they went back and forth on price for long. No, and you know, Roger loves the speedway and he can scratch that check. Now, what we need to figure out tonight, how does this work from a competitive standpoint? Everyone knows. Penske, he's the Yankees are racing. How is this going to work next season? Well, no, everybody's talking about a conflict of interest. Tim Sendrick runs Team Penske. Yeah. Roger Penske runs Penske Corporation. That's the way that he's going to do business. He's going to go and walk the Speedway tomorrow. He's going to talk to all the powers out at the Speedway. He's asking them for their top 10 wish list. He, wish list. He's yes. going to go over that. 
and he's going to probably let some of them have free reign to do what they want to do to make everything better. If you take a look here, he's got two most recent winners, Will Power, Simon Pagino. What's the first change you expect to see next season? What will be different around Indianapolis, potentially? Well, potentially around Indianapolis, I see that there may, you know, he, he may try and incorporate that double header. We keep hearing yes. about, you know, about IndyCar, NASCAR, the Cup Series doing a double header. You may not see it in Indianapolis. You may see it starting at the Roval. Okay. That's Tyce Carlson, everybody. Full day of work on a Monday for you. Absolutely. Wouldn't have it any other way. Brooke, Mike, back to you.